Okay, let us give the product for the following reaction. So we have benzene sulfonic acid, benzene SO3H group is attached. Now this first, this is reacted with fuming H2SO4 and then further with NaOH H+. If you remember the fuming H2SO4, this is sulfonation. So what will be the product after the first reaction and what will be the product after the second reaction, after acidification. So take some time. So you see, so first is sulfonation and this is a deactivating group, so it will direct at meta position. So it will direct at meta position because this is a deactivator. So after the first step, you will have one SO3 group attached. So you have benzene ring and here you have SO3H. And now you will attach one SO3H but this will attach at meta position because this is a deactivator. So let us attach SO3H. Now in the next step SO3H becomes good living group, OH- will attack and this goes. Again this SO3H uh, can be replaced by OH. Finally, after acidification initially we will have O- minus O- minus here and if you do acidification you will have OH, OH. So the final product you have benzene that contains two OH groups at one is at meta position. Are you getting? Let us write product for the following reaction. So you have an amide, amide is treated with P2O5 and then hydrolysis S plus heat. Okay, so what you will have? P2O5 is used as a dehydrating agent. So from here, if you remove H2O, so you will have C triple bond N, that is nitrile. So after the first reaction, you will have a nitrile. C triple bond N. And now if you do hydrolysis, you will have C N will be converted into COOH. So this is one way hydrolysis of nitrile that gives you acid. And there is a one way to prepare to prepare acid. So this is this reaction is nothing but second one is nothing but hydrolysis of nitrile. Are you getting? So this is hydrolysis of nitrile. That will give you acid. Now let us discuss next problem. So this is again easy one. So you have to take an ethyl ester reacting with CH3MGBR and this Lignard reagent is taken in excess. So what you will have, so you have ethyl ester, CH3, CH2, ah, sorry, CH3, C double bond O, and this side you will have any ester, so let us say A, R, you have, and then you have CH3 minus, so you have any ethyl ester. So only thing is this side you have two carbon, and this side you can have any ester, anything, R dash, 
that contains two mm, two carbon, three carbon. That does not matter. Now you have CH3 minus. This will attack. This opens up, returns back. This goes. So finally, I will have CH3 C double bond O CH3. Now in the next step, CH3 minus can again attack as a nucleophile. So this attacks here, and this goes here. And if you do hydrolysis in the next step, so acidification, so you will have CH3. Basically, acidification is not given in this problem, but you assume that the final product is after acidification. So you will have OH, CH3, CH3. So basically, you are getting a tertiary alcohol. And this problem is asked in J, but they asked in uh, objective. So this option was given. So even if you does not remember the name of ethyl ester, no problem because if you see this compound, this option is given, and that contains both CH3. So we have two CH3 group. So there are many options. Four options we have. Only one compound. Only one compound has an option in which two CH3 groups are attached. So in this reaction, even if this CH3 is something different, so this CH3 is coming from this, this is the ethyl ester. So even if you have this CH3 group, some different group, it does not matter as long as I have two CH3 groups attached. This will be the product because in this reaction there are two CH3 group that is going to be attached, and there is only one option that gives you CH3 attached, two CH3 attached. So this is the right option. You have three degree alcohol. Let us discuss the next problem.